hello welcome back to my channel this is hd signatures how are you guys doing so on today's tutorial guys i'm going to be showing you all how i normally do my lip stick a lot of you guys requested me to do a lip stain that i did on one of my recent video on a significant day pick my eyeshadow makeup tutorial that's what i'm going to be doing today guys but the good thing about today's tutorial apart from being detailed i'm also going to be showing you different ways and different types of colors on how to combine colors that you guys can pair together that will look fabulous on any skin tone guys so guys we are close and personal just so you guys can see the details of what i'm going to be teaching you all i told you guys that this tutorial is so detailed make sure that your lips is well exfoliated that way your lips is smooth and nice and soft so whatever lipstick you apply on your lips is going to glide on smoothly and it's going to look nice after exfoliating your lips you want to apply a lip balm that is not too greasy you just want to apply something i mean let me take vaseline vaseline is a good example of a lip balm you can apply that on your lips it's just going to make your lips feel hydrated but it's not going to make it oily i'm just going to be using my foundation on my lips the essence of doing this is also for do, for those of you that have like a dark lip you want to use a foundation because if you don't use a foundation to mute out your dark lipstick if you are using a true color like bright colors your dark lipstick is just going to mix up with that so it won't give it that true color apply your foundation or a foundation lighter or a shade lighter than your natural skin color that way you are creating another canvas on your lip then the next thing you want to do is to get a setting powder so I'm going to be using Sasha setting powder I want to get that and use it to mattify your lips the excess of doing this so your foundation does not mix up with your lipstick so first of all if you want to apply a lipstick two color lipstick you want to use the, your first shade should be the darkest of all the colors you are using that way it will help you contour and make it look nice so the first color that we are going to be using is going to be this shade here these are the shade i'm going to be using guys so this is from classic and this is thunder this is also from classic this is suede nude and this is my diy guys a lot of you have seen this so this is these are the three colors we are going to be using but you want to take the dark the first darker shade which is the thunder So this is just going to make you have that V shape so you're going to take from your right to your left from your left to your right to give you that nice V shape so once you are done you come to the down part always make sure that you take off excess from your product so I go, you, are, you need to stretch out your lips that way you are able to glide on the lipstick smoothly Make sure your lip stain has enough fluid so you don't keep dragging. Can you see guys? So I'm going to go in with the um, nude shade which is suede nude. So I'm going to use this in the center of my lips. So what I'm going to be doing next is, I'm going to give the lipstick a little bit of time to get tacky. So I'll use that to blend the edges where the both, where both color meets. As I'm pushing it guys, um, I'm pressing my lips together. This 
this pushing I'm doing is basically for blending. You have to be careful with that because some matte lipstick cannot really stand those force. If you force the pushing too much, like the dab, you force it too much instead of blending to peel off the lipstick. So you have to be careful. So after what guys, I'm going to apply the gloss. Don't put pressure on it. You can see the brush I'm using guys. The brush is very very light. That way you are touching both lipstick but you are not cleaning it off. So this is it guys. When you are talking, you have something like this. So, can you see? So this is Milani, this is Zaron, and this is one of the lip stains I've had. And the Milani is uh, making me matte in number 11. And I have Zaron lip stain in Buttercup number 14. And I have this lip gloss. beautiful so I'm going to go into the lip gloss this shade here I'm going to be applying classic in hot flame and I'm going to be applying forest co that's tattoo tint in po to gala If you notice guys i overlined my lips with the first color the, the reason is for this type of lipstick you want your lips to be full for me i feel it's when my lip is full that's when it come out really nice so if you want you can still go over with the other shade and just dip in the corners of the lips
here. This one is from Flawless IV and it's in Hot Flame. It's different from the other one, the first one that I used. This Hot Flame is from Classic. This one is from Flawless IV and this one is also from Flawless IV. This is Pinky. I'm going to put my lips in this position when I'm doing this part. Just like you are trying to pout. I'm using Jordana lipstick in matte there. See you guys. After blending, I'm going to go ahead and apply this lipstick. So that's that guys and um, let me quickly show you guys um, a quick way to correct your lipstick if you ever make a mistake like a flat brush like a flat brush just dipping into a lipstick that then what you will do is you allow the lipstick to dry, allow it to dry very well before you go ahead and correct it. Okay, because if you don't allow it to dry, your foundation will mix in with the lipstick and it's going to create a mess, start dragging and start smearing around. So you want to wait till your lipstick dry. You want to wait till your lipstick dry completely. That way, whatever you're placing the foundation to just go on smoothly without dragging anything. So you want to use your shade or the shade close to your highlight not necessarily very light so look at this part guys here yeah, it's not that sharp so once you place it you want to make sure the brush you are using is flat so once you place you can see that you can barely see the foundation that I'm applying once you place it like so then you drag it down you're dragging it down so it doesn't have that block lines that's why we're dragging it down look at this part here too you see? Can you see? You don't have to pack a whole lot of foundation, just slightly. Can you see guys? Always make sure that your lipstick is dry before you do this. Okay, the upper side.
see you guys. I'm doing I'm taking it closer to my lips like so so I'm just going to drag the remaining ones I'm going to take my foundation brush This is how you have a crisp line if you ever make any mistake while applying your lipstick. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know which of the lipstick you are going to be trying out. Let me know if you guys actually learned something from this tutorial and also let me know which of the lipstick you guys think suits me a lot better in the comment section guys i want to use this opportunity to tell you all that i'm going to be challenging myself to post for straight 30 days come june starting from june 1st i'm going to start posting one video on youtube and one picture on instagram so if you are not following me on instagram yet please follow at hd signatures on instagram or facebook at hd signatures and here on youtube please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please guys consider subscribing and um, do turn on the notification bell so when the challenge come june you guys will get to see you follow me along the journey i just want to challenge myself it's not like it was put upon me i just want to challenge myself to post for 30 days come june thank you so much guys and god bless you all. bye guys